In 1974, Ed Catmull was pioneering the field of 3D computer graphics. His job was to figure out how to take a fully 3D animated scene and render it entirely on a computer. No one had ever done this before, which meant that his work was highly technical. He was doing math and writing code basically every hour of the day. But if you asked him why he did it, it wasn't necessarily for the love of the code or the math. He did it because he wanted to tell stories. He was an artist at heart. Eventually, his company went on to become Pixar, and they created the first ever fully animated 3D feature film, Toy Story. They were doing their art because they wanted to connect with people and teach us something about ourselves and the world. Not necessarily, just because they wanted to do math. To me, math is a tool for creating beautiful things. Ever since I was a kid, I've been using math and computers to create art and games that I think are beautiful. But I know most people don't feel that way. Math in school is pretty boring. You mostly just memorize equations and processes so that you can pass a test. It's not the same as the experience that I've had growing up. And I partially blame these guys. This is my TI-84, it's a graphing calculator. It doesn't turn on because I haven't charged it in months. Because it's just no fun to use. I mean, who wants this thing? In my free time, I've been working on my own graphing calculator, and my goal is to blow the others completely out of the water. For now, it only does two things. The first is graph equations of two variables. So if you have y equals x squared, it can graph it. And if you have a slightly harder equation, maybe something that's not a function like x squared plus y squared equals 25, it can graph that too. The second, more exciting feature that I've added is graphing expressions in 2D. The idea here is that you can type an expression and, well, bam, rainbows. At every point on the entire graph, it calculates the value of your expression and then colors that pixel accordingly. So if you type a funny expression, you get a funny graph. Of course, in order to create this, I had to do some technical work of my own. I'm actually pretty proud of how it works. If you think about it, coloring in every single pixel on the screen is a big job. I mean, your screen has a lot of pixels, and calculating the value for each one of them takes a while. Fortunately, there's a tool for the job called shaders. Maybe if you play video games, you've heard of shaders, and you think of them as a way to sort of modify the way that the environment looks. In our case, shaders are really just a tool for rendering pixels to a screen. There's an entire shader programming language where you write code in a special language called GLSL, and your computer has specialized components inside that are really fast at running that code. And the only thing that shaders can do is specify what color each pixel on a screen should be. So, if you write a shader that looks something like this, you can get a rainbow as output. And each pixel there is colored based on the expression inside the shader. So what my code does is generate shader code automatically every time you enter an expression. When you type an expression into the graphing calculator, it generates the shader code, and then that shader code runs on your GPU and, wha-bam, rainbows. That's all I'm going to tell you about this project for now. I just wanted to check in because I've been working on it for a while, and I'm really excited about it, and I want to start sharing it with the world. So if this is something that interests you, you can go play with it and leave a comment and let me know what you think. Uh, and definitely subscribe because I'm about to enter a new dimension and I'll probably be telling you about that very soon.